spin the staff one hand. This roll, this spin, allows your wrists to get stronger, your forearms to get stronger. It's also gonna improve your flexibility. In this martial arts class, you'll discover how to spin a staff with one hand for beginners. Grab your Japanese bow or other martial arts long staff and follow me. Start with the staff balanced in the middle of your open hand, gently close it. You're gonna turn all the way to one side and then back the other way and go slow at the very beginning. This is a warm up move. You wanna slowly get that blood flowing in there, lubricate the joints, keep them safe from injury during this workout. Gradually increasing your speed and depending on the weight of your staff, this is a medium weight, hard aluminum staff. It comes from combative.com. You might be using rattan or hardwood. If it's really heavy, you don't want to go really fast here. This is a small move right there in that joint, but it's going to help you with strength and flexibility. You're going to do it 30 seconds here and then the other hand. If it's a heavier staff, go more slowly. If it's a lighter staff, speed up sooner. Like I said, this is medium weight, so you can kind of play it by ear, play it by feel. How does it feel? 30 seconds on each side should be enough to warm your hands up, get your wrists stronger, your forearms stronger. Now go back into that first hand and you're gonna go right into an endless spin, one hand using the staff. left side of my body and then I come back to the right side of my body and your thumb is carving a sideways figure eight or an infinity symbol which is where that name endless spin comes from infinity and endless I mean pretty much the same thing I think gradually increase your speed make sure your hand stays closed don't grip it so much that your fingers are changing color but keep it firm and relaxed Stomach up and in, abs tight, just feet under your body. A little quicker, a little faster, a little shoulder movement. That's why your stomach has to be tight. Your abs tie your upper body and your lower body together. When you squeeze everything, you can start to use your shoulders and your hips to move the staff faster. Even though my hand's holding it, my body's moving the staff, which gives it a lot more speed and a lot more power. Bring that into the other hand again. Slowly carving that figure eight. Spin the staff, one hand. Turn your hips, pull your stomach up and in. Breathing a little faster, faster and faster. And 30 seconds on each side, up to two minutes. You can go two minutes. After that, you get what we call diminishing returns. It means you're just spending time, but you're not necessarily getting any better. It's better to increase your intensity for 30 seconds than try to go for a really long time. Think of sprinting instead of a marathon. Get explosive and fast. Martial arts is about self-defense, it's about fighting. So you want explosiveness. Your endurance will also improve. The next spin with one hand, you're gonna put your hand back in the middle. You can use your other hand first to help it. Put it over the back of that hand. What's happening is this hand that's holding, this is my right hand, becomes perpendicular to the floor. My thumb gets out of the way and the hand simply turns as it balances and turns with momentum over the back of my hand. Again, this hand is just here for support at the beginning. You're gonna pull this hand out of the way in a second. Just do it. one hand, one hand spin with the staff. Think of this, just the thumb side, the top of the hand turns over. Once you get that, keep that going, over the back of that hand is also known as a wrist roll. Now you can go back the other way. So the small side of the hand, balancing, Hand turns over. This hand is just helping. It's a supported wrist roll. Get it out of the way. You can hear it kind of slide. And then I want you to go one way. 
and spin it back the other way. Spin it with one hand one way, spin the staff with one hand the other way. Wrist roll to a wrist roll. This roll, this spin, allows your wrists to get stronger, your forearms to get stronger. It's also gonna improve your flexibility and your handling ability, your proprioception. That's how you kinda of get a feel for it, right? Without dropping it, put it in that other hand. You can assist it, go over the back side of the hand if you want. Assist it, go over the front side or the top, the thumb side. Remember we did that? And then when you're ready, just go over one side, 30 seconds doing this. 30, and you're always gonna do both hands evenly, right? If you can, spinning the staff with one hand, I wanna show you one more thing. You know how to do this. This is what we did before. This is that forward, endless spin. Now reverse it, pulling it up in the opposite direction. 30 seconds here. I'm showing you just how to put the staff from one hand to the other. It's important. You'll start to practice that way. I'm just reversing that endless spin. Now with my left, 30 seconds here. And in the right hand again, to the side of your body, this, the forward one, the first one you did. Front and back of your body. It's the exact same as this, you've done this. Now you're doing it here. Because I want you to do a spin with one hand, spin this staff with that single hand, but in a different plane. So you can start to freestyle with your staff. So you can learn how to fight. Maybe you're defending, learn how to defend yourself, fight with your bow. Maybe it's combat bow, maybe it's a walking stick. You want to learn how to defend yourself with a walking stick? Learn how to move it around your body. Put it in the other hand, remind yourself of that forward spin, and then just put it to the side. Do 30 seconds over here. Go back to that other hand and do that reverse. Now, I'm leaving you with a workout for yourself after you've done all of this, you're leading up to this workout. This is all your warm up up until now, learning some new things. The workout for today, forward, figure eight, endless spin, infinity spin, and the right hand to the front and the back of your body, bring it to the middle, and bring it into a reverse. And this is it, it seems super simple, and it is, doesn't mean it's easy, just because you can understand it simply, doesn't mean you know it. Knowing it means you, you understand it and you can do it. So take your time, learn it intellectually, get your philosophy right, but let that only be about like 10%. Like knowledge, understanding, 10%. The ability, because you practice, the action part, 90%. Don't be a uh, philosopher, be a fighter. Be somebody who knows what they're doing. Back to here, you're gonna take it over and go back in that front hand spin. Front hand spin, reverse hand spin. Bring it back into the middle of the body. Grab it over here. Palms facing away from each other. Right thumb, left pinky. Forward spin. Reverse. That's how I want you to finish today. Bring it here, bring it over, forward spin, and then reset yourself. Put it in the left hand. Forward spin here. Reverse spin here. This is your workout because I want you to get the feel for these different ways of moving the staff around your body. You're gonna work into freestyle, and if it's fighting, if it's combat, if it's self-defense, Instead of freestyle, it's called flow. So how do you flow from one move to another one without stopping so that you can beat your opponent, so that you can effectively defend yourself? 
in the self-defense fight. Forward on the left, right. Here's that overhand turn. Forward, reverse, forward, and that's it. 30 seconds going this way forward, 30 seconds going this way forward with that reverse in there. Check out these other videos on what else you can do. Let me know what else you wanna work on. I will see you in the next video.